Sam Kerr. This is where I grew up. This is where I fell in love with the game. This is Falkirk. So I'll just take you into my house now. This is where my mum would shout at me to take my shoes off. Um, this is up the stairs. This is also where um, when I was younger I got a sledge and I went all the way through down the stairs and through the wall at the bottom of the house. That put my mum's good book. And then this is also uh, my first my first competitive debut shot up there. Well, she was always um, active as, as the word. She was always outside, always playing with the boys, climbing trees, and she doesn't know how good she is. And when she got into the football academy, um, she didn't want to go because it was a different school. All her friends were going to a different school. So I said to her, go and have a try. If you don't like it, you can stop. And she was like, no, I said, I'll give you £10 a week. <laughs> and that. <laughs> And I had to pay her £10 a week all the way up to fifth year. <laughs> and Sam was basically like running rings with all the guys um, and she was scoring all the goals and they were all carrying Sam about at the end. And when I seen her, I just thought, she's amazing by the way. She's just shrugging all the boys off. They couldn't cope with her, eh? She was just so good. I could hardly go to any of Sam's games because she's got a brother who's got disabilities. I found it difficult not being able to go and support her. Uh, but now her brother's got some carers in now. I'll, I'll, if I, won't miss a match. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so obviously this is the area I grew up in and then just here to my left is the big field that we used to always play football in. So I think it would be me and about 20 other boys. We'd use our, our jumpers for goals and we'd put them down. And we used to play cuppy doubles and everything here. Um, uh, my mum would always tell me to come in when the street lights came on or when the ice cream van came, but I never did. And I used to always try to sneak away when it got to that time and she'd be hunting the streets looking for me. So yeah, there's great memories here and yeah, we were troublemakers but we had lots of fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that was kind of how it was. Um, I'm not like that anymore, thankfully. But um, yeah, that was kind of what I was like growing up. Yeah, well definitely Falkirk's a small town and you know everyone and everyone knows you. So coming back here, um, it's where you grow up, like you're so familiar with the place and it's where you feel comfortable most so I love coming back home, I love seeing my family that are here and definitely when you come back to a small town you get a wee bit more recognition and people notice you a wee bit more but um, I think the main thing for me is Falkirk is obviously where I grew up and it is home for me and no matter where I go like this is, this will always be like a place for me and a special place in my heart. We're just at going out to meet my, my first ever coach Ian Dibden, where, where it all started, and he's the one that put his trust and belief in me and um, got me to where I am today. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? It's good. Oh, listen, it's fantastic being here again. How, how was I when I was younger? Obviously, I can't really oh, remember. The big memories I've got of you, right, is Scottish Cup win. Yeah. Can you remember that? There's a, a video footage of it. We were playing against Harps. Yeah. Yeah. It's nil-nil. They have a corner. The ball comes in. You head of the ball and as you're running you do this with your you short your hair right? <laughs> fix my hair fix your running. hair continued running i think you played the ball and you got you received a, yeah. a, a wall pass one and one with the goalkeeper and flicked into the back post yeah i think like when it comes to like where does it all start like yeah i never i never stopped praising you because you've gave me you gave me those experiences when i was younger gave me the opportunity to play all over the place to travel you're giving me a, more credit than than I deserve. Yeah. At the end of the day, you, you inspired yourself you know, yeah. to do it. I, I was part of that journey and you've come into contact with other coaches. Oh God, I'm getting too emotional like. here. This is so <laughs> cute. Yeah. So I'm just going to drive up to my grand's now. So we're going to go see my gran and uh, ask her a few questions and have a sit down with her. So I'm sure she'll have a lot to say and to see how proud she is of me. Hi, Great to see you. Great to see you. Well, our tradition is I come in and I have a cup of tea and a Kit Kat junkie. Which is? Because that's our tradition. Of <laughs> she played football everywhere. She was just, but she's always run about and used to take her out and she disappeared for about an hour. We found her on the roof of our building one time and all the mothers are standing in horror. She was really bad that way. <laughs> <laughs> she's just was always going to be famous, I think. So and you always play well, even if you say you don't. Yeah. 
I think so anyway. No, from the very early days I knew that she was going to be good. Lovely, focused, determined, and she got there. Mm -hmm. So I'm very proud. We all are. I love you so much and... I love you so much too. <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm gonna cry uh, and thank you for always supporting me. Always, and, yeah. and forever. Until I'm not up here. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. No, just thank you and I love you so much. Me too. Thank I'm you. crying. <laughs> oh, don't you have me starting? Start me now. Yeah, come here. Oh. Lovely girl. <laughs> God, I'm <laughs> nearly crying. <laughs> <laughs> I've got plenty of hankies around here. <laughs>